Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a shop my stash video. I haven't done one of these in so long just because they don't get as many views as other videos do, but I get a lot of requests for this and I personally like to shop my stash and use up old makeup if I can. So my plan today was to kind of incorporate a new product with some that are older. So the new product I thought of was the Share Your Light Bronzer from Zoeva. I've really been enjoying this. So then I thought what I would do is just pull a whole bunch of products to kind of go along with that. The only products I don't have from Zoeva are lip products, mascara, and eyeliner. So those are going to be from different brands. But what I thought I would do for this video is just kind of show you my process and how I chose what to wear today. And then um, I'm also going to go ahead and do a look. So if you guys are more interested in just hearing about the products, you can always just watch that part and then skip the look. If you want to see it actually all come together, then stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm also going to put the timestamps down at the bottom bar. It's a new thing on YouTube, so you can actually hover over the bottom bar and see what chapter of the video you're on. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right guys, so let's go into my bronzer drawer first and my plan for today's video is gonna be to use one of the new Zoeva bronzers that I just got and I figured maybe I would pull some other Zoeva products as well and do a look around those. So this one is the shade 0.1, so I think this is the one that I would probably use for my skin tone. Um, there are two other colors which I showed in my Sunday haul, I swatched them all, so I'll link that video in case you wanna check that out. All right, and then next up, when it comes to palettes, I figured I would choose a Zoeva palette. So there's so many good ones in here. I have no idea what I'm gonna use. So let's see, Blanc Fusion has some cool tones. I love the Melody palette, but I feel like I use this one the most out of all of them, that and Nude Spectrum. So I wanna try to use one that I don't use very often. Um, Screen Queen, we have Blanc Fusion. Hmm, which one to choose? What's under here? I love Spice of Life. That one's just a little bit warmer. Um, that one's really pretty. I'm also going to try to find one that I know is at Ulta because a lot of you guys in the U.S., um, you know, you like to order from Ulta versus the Zoeva website. So let's see. Oh, Naturally Yours. And I really haven't used this much at all since I first got it. So yeah, look at that one. That one kind of in a way reminds me of the Lorac Unzipped palette. It has kind of a similar rosy vibe. So let's go with this one. And then for blush, I don't have any single blushes from Zoeva. So I do have a couple of palettes though. I have some that go along with collections like the Premier one, the Aristo, um, Coral Spectrum. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. So let me see. Yeah, so let's go with this one. All right, and then next up, I'm gonna go into my everyday makeup drawer. Um, There's just the things that I've been using most often lately. And these are the foundations that I've been reaching for the most. The Zoeva one is right on top because this is probably my favorite foundation in my whole collection right now. This is the Authentic Skin and it just, it truly looks like skin. It's an amazing formula. It has like, I would say medium coverage and a beautiful satin finish. So it's not too glowy, it's not too matte. It just sits perfectly on my dry skin. So I really love this and also the Zoeva Authentic Skin Concealer as well. Um, so these are, let me see the shades. So the foundation is in the shade 90C. So this one is a little bit on the deeper side for me, but I don't really mind that in the summertime. And then the concealer is a little bit lighter. This one is the shade 20 Accurate. So let's go ahead and do both of these. And then this is my other everyday makeup drawer. These are all the mascaras that I currently have out that I've been using. It's a ton of them. So I really need to like go through and use these as much as possible since they've all been opened in the last couple months. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this Beauty Pie Flash False Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorites lately. It does not smudge, it lasts all day, and it makes my lashes super huge. So I'm really in the mood to wear this one again. And then when it comes to lip products, um, I haven't gotten a lot of use out of this Beauty Pie lip crayon yet. And I feel like this is a great option. Like in the summertime, it's just a quick and easy one. It's actually kind of just like a pinky nude. So it's very neutral. Hopefully it'll go with the look that I'm going to create. So we will see. And then for eyeliner, I already had this one out because I've been using it like crazy. So this is from Clio and it's their waterproof pen liner. I showed this in my Yes Style video from last week. And I've just been loving this one so much because it has really great staying power, especially when it's hot and humid out like it is today. And then I just have a variety of Zoeva brushes that I'm gonna be using. This is their concealer brush and it's one of my favorite brushes for applying concealer. It's supposed to mimic the shape of like a finger and it really does, but it's so soft. So I just love this one for applying 
setting concealer and then I also have the face finish brush so I use this usually for bronzer they had sent this to me with their finishing powder but I don't usually um, use finishing powder so I usually just use this one for bronzer and then I have the luxe sheer cheek brush this one is a great like angled brush I use this one for blushes and then I have their 104 buffer brush for the foundation so I'm going to be using these for my face products and then I just have a variety of different eye brushes from different kits I think you can also order their brushes just singly as well but I'll go ahead and put the numbers of the brushes down on the bottom of the screen when I'm doing the tutorial part so before we get into the tutorial I just want to quickly show you guys swatches of everything and then we'll quickly get into the look Okay, so first up I'm going to be using some tape for my eye look. This is just a roll of painter's tape. I find that it's not quite as sticky as regular tape, so it doesn't pull up my skin quite as much when I go to remove it. So I'm just going to take a piece and place it at the angle that I want my eyeshadow to be. So first up I'm going to go into the shade Pure, which is a matte ivory shade, and just using the Lux crease brush, I'm going to be blending this shade all over my eyelid to create a really nice even base. Next I'm going to go into the shade Soft and Sexy, which is a matte medium brown and using the same brush I'm going to be applying this to my crease and blending it straight out to the tape line doing this creates a little bit of lift at my outer corner rather than bringing the shadow down to the outer corner of my eye which is what I used to do and this is why I love the tape because it acts as a guide and it doesn't let me go too far or too high with my eyeshadows and then I'm going to be going in with the shade Slow Dance, which is a deep matte brown shade. And I'm going to be taking the Luxe Petite Crease Brush, which is a little bit smaller than the first one, and adding this to the outer corner just below my first crease color. I'm concentrating the color as much as I possibly can towards the outer edge and then feathering it in toward the center of my eyelid so that it fades as it goes inward. Next I'm going to take my Clio liquid liner and I'm applying this to my upper lash line only at the outer corner. Since I have hooded eyes I don't want to go all the way across and take up what little lid space I have left. And then using the tape as a guide I draw the eyeliner up and along that edge creating a small wing. This is another reason I love the tape. It's kind of like a stencil and I don't mess up my eyeliner anymore. Then I'm using the shade Forever Yours and with my finger I'm just patting this on the center of my lid. This one is a beautiful taupe shade with a duochrome shift. It's super subtle and beautiful but not really metallic so it's great for anybody who has texture on their eyelids or who doesn't like to wear super shiny or foiled eyeshadows. Last but not least, I'm applying the Beauty Pie Flash False Lash Mascara to my top lashes. I love this formula. It gives me such big lashes, and the tiny brush is really easy to use. I don't have to worry about getting mascara everywhere, all over my lids. It also lasts until I take it off at night, so it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge underneath my eyes. It is so amazing. So looking at the finished eye compared to the other one, you can see how it looks just a little bit more lifted and less downturned. 
And then moving on to foundation, I'm using the Authentic Skin in the shade 90C. I like to apply just four dots to my face, so I don't really apply too much. I can always add more if I need to, but I usually don't. I like to keep my base as light as possible and then use a concealer just to spot conceal any areas where I need more coverage. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think this formula is so stunning. It's really skin-like. It looks natural. It has a gorgeous satiny finish that's not too matte or too glowy. It has medium coverage and it feels really nice on the skin as well. It's not heavy or cakey and it doesn't cling to my dry patches or settle into fine lines. It's truly my favorite foundation of the moment. And then next I'm going in with the Authentic Skin Concealer in the shade 20 Accurate. I like to apply concealer just to the inner and outer corners of my eyes rather than directly underneath because I feel like that just gets too heavy and starts to settle into fine lines or crease if there's too much right in that area. So using Zoeva's amazing concealer brush, I just blend it in really gently and feather both sides toward the middle. So there's just a hint of coverage right underneath my eye. I really don't find that I need a lot in that area. So I keep the most coverage focused on the areas where I need it in the inner and outer corners. This concealer also looks really natural and skin-like while providing really great coverage. Next I'll be using the Radiant Bronzer in the shade 0.1 with the Face Finish Brush and for now I'm just going to be using the bronzer side rather than the highlighter because I don't like a lot of glow on my face. So I like to do the number 3 with the bronzer where you hit your cheek, forehead, and chin. And I like to start on my cheek because that's where the most color gets deposited from the brush first. I used to start on my forehead and I always ended up with a big glob of bronzer up there and it looked unnatural. So I like this method better and that way whatever's left on my brush goes to my forehead and chin and it's not quite as concentrated in those areas. I love using bronzer this way just to warm up my face rather than contouring with it. And then I also like to take the bronzer down my neck and blend the color out that way. And then dipping into both the bronzer and highlighter together, I'm applying it to my shoulders and chest to give my skin a little bit of a glow. I love doing this in the summertime. It just makes your skin look so radiant and healthy. Next I'm going into the Coral Spectrum Blush Palette and picking up the shade CRO30 which is a mid-tone coral with a pearl finish. It's so gorgeous. This is one of my favorite blushes and I'm applying it a little bit higher up on my cheek so that most of the color isn't down on the apple of my cheek. I just find that this gives more of a lifted effect and then I just sort of work it down towards the apple a little bit and it gives a really beautiful effect. Last but not least, I'm applying the Beauty Pie Lip Crayon in Baby Bear, and I really love this warm nude pink shade. The formula is really great too. It's super comfortable, and it gives a little bit of shine without feeling sticky like a lip gloss. It also has no scent, which is perfect, especially if you don't like fragrance in your lip products. And then here's the finished look. I think it's so perfect for every day and just kind of enhances your natural beauty rather than going completely full glam. All right guys, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. If you'd like to see more of these, please let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you'd like to see ones on one brand like this one or just like a range of products, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care guys, bye.